Time. Okay, are you a Muslim? Yeah, I am. Hey, is, is this very quite simple question? Is Muhammad a sinner? Yes or no? Can I say can I say something? Just answer my question and you can say whatever you want after. Is Muhammad a sinner? Yes or no? Sinner in what way? Has he sinned? Sinner in what way? Has he sinned at all in any way? Small, big, tall, short, skinny? Has he sinned? Was Jesus a sinner? It's not my question, man. Yeah, but why don't you answer? Because answer my question, then I'll answer thank you, you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is Muhammad a sinner? Did he sin in a small way, big way, short way, tall way, skinny way, fat way? When I answer, will you allow me to ask the question? Or if you, you answer my question, I will answer yours. If you don't answer my question, I ain't answering nothing. Okay. Okay, so first of all, we have to d differentiate between large sins and small sins, okay? Muhammad, just like Jesus. No. One second, Big I sins didn't finish. I, didn't finish. I, I didn't just want finish. everybody to remember this. I didn't finish. Yeah, they have brains they remember. Don't cut me. Just like Jesus, when he called the woman a dog, prayer Muhammad had, you know, maybe, not, not. let's not call it a sin, but maybe, yeah, he made something that maybe something else was, was more right. Yeah. But, you know, Jesus, he called the woman a dog. Is that a sin to you or no? No, it's not. It's not a sin? No, she was a dog. Being, being a racist is it sin? No, it's not he, sin. he's not a racist. He, the, the, the message the woman that... was a dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, because she was outside of the covenant. This, Anybody that's this outside is of the covenant is a dog. for you, my friend. Why are you going away? Yeah, but, you told but, me I will ask, I will talk. No, no, because I'm talking now. You want me to, you want to talk yeah. back? You want me to explain that? Or, do, or you just want to... No, keep was it? that a sin? No, it wasn't. Wrong? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. So it's Anybody okay, outside no. of the covenant is a heathen. Just okay, like you so, talk about so, kafir. So you, so you, when Muhammad talks about kafir, is it a sin? He's calling people outside the covenant. He's calling them kafir. You don't call them dogs. Is that a sin? Is, call is calling someone a kafir a sin? Yes or no? It's a description. Like I'm a kafir to you. What's, what's what does a kafir mean? Someone who doesn't believe in my belief. What's what's wrong with that? Good. In the am vernacular of the first no? century, a dog am is someone I, outside am the I covenant. A kafir? Am I a kafir? Yeah, of course you? you're a kafir. Okay, so what's, what's you're a dog. Right you're a dog right now. Okay, so outside the kingdom of heaven are dogs. That's Christian love for you people. Whoever is not on their side, they'll call them dogs. They will kill them, they'll do whatever. Now, no, 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 you want to know Islamic life? Islamic well, life says sinner? you're allowed to beat your well, wife. You don't even know Muhammad your buried a You don't even know your religion to tell Muhammad me about my religion. religion. You don't even That's know Islamic life. Would you, would, you, would you let your daughter, six years old, marry a 50 year old man? Why are you well, because you're coming too close to me. You might have COVID. Yeah, That's why. I need to speak. No, 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 no. I, I don't know you. Speak. You're spitting in my face. No. I need to speak. Would you allow your six year old daughter to marry why a 50 year old? Yes or no? Why are you Yes or no? Why are you running? No one's running. I'm why stepping away. Let's yeah, go all day, bro. Let me speak. We're talking about Christian life and Islamic life. Would you let your kid, six year old, marry a 50 year old? Yes or no? How old was Mary when she was married to Joseph, my friend? Nobody knows. The only tradition talks about was... that. Nobody knows. Yeah, but what but Mary was say? at least 12 years old. Yeah, so 12 is okay? At least, yes. Yeah, 12 is Because okay. she passed puberty. But six year old, she didn't pass she, puberty. She wasn't. She Why wasn't are you letting a six, six year old? She wasn't even six. You don't no, even she know was what 12. No, she was about. six. Of course she, she was six. six. No, she okay, was... how old was she? Tell me. Okay, so she was at least nine, and that was after puberty as well. So if it's okay for Mary, it's okay for. So you would let your nine year old marry a 50 year old? And you would let your 12 year old marry. and. What, what, what? Yeah, How old is Joseph? Joseph? Nobody knows. Yeah, he was 90-something. That's what they say, but there's no proof Okay, so what do you say? But we know that Muhammad what is over 50. What do you know? Yeah. We know that a 50-year-old married a 6-year-old. Let me just say one point. Girl. How many Muslims would let and their, their 6-year-old daughter marry a 50-year-old? Put up your hand. It's not, she's not 6. We have a lot of Muslims in this crowd. She's not six. Following the pattern she's of Muhammad. So let's, 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 let's put par for par. Not you said this Why is Christianity. I'm not afraid. You're you just want talking to talk over all day and then when I no. come to answer you How many me? Muslims here would let their six-year-old daughter marry a 50-year-old? Put up your hand. She was not six. Why she nobody? Not six. She Why was nobody? Not six. She was not six. Okay, nine-year-old. How many of you would allow your 50-year-old 50 50 to marry a nine-year-old? Put up your hand. 15-year-old? Why no Muslim would follow Prophet Muhammad? Bro, let me say we are, we are. That's You'd let your nine-year-old marry a 50 year old One second, one second. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Space here. I'm going to give you back the mic now. Yeah, okay. I'm going to let you, I'm going to hold it for you. Okay, yeah, that's what you said. Okay, so the thing is, people, these people don't know anything. If you go to England 300 years ago, not 1400 years ago, William Blackstone, take a look at his book. He's a judge in England. It's not like 7th century Arabia, it's in England. Take a look at his book, commentaries of the, like the laws of England and 1700. Guess what's the, the, the age for people to get married at that time? It's seven. It's not even nine, it's seven. And that's in England, the ones we are following in the thing. And that's 1700, not 1400 years what are you, ago. What are you talking about, bro? I'm talking about something. Marrying six year olds? No, I actually. Seven yeah, years right. old. It's in England, 1700s. Okay. I don't care what people did. Your prophet, so you setting about? the final standard for all time, married a six-year-old, and no Muslim would follow him. 
Do you have something else to talk about, man? No, we can talk about Why? more. We can talk about yeah. ayahs where it yeah, says in Ali thing. Imran chapter 3 verses 106, it says, On the day when some faces will be whitened and some faces will be blackened, as for those faces who have been blackened, it will be said unto them, Disbelieve you after your, your belief. Then taste the, the, the punishment of those that disbelieve. And on the day of resurrection, Muhammad sees those who lied concerning Allah with their faces blackened. What this says, and we can go into uh, Mishkat al Masiba, it says, And he struck his left shoulders and brought forth his offspring black, as though they were charcoal. Then he said, The party on the right to paradise, and I, I, and I do not care. And he said to the party in his left shoulder to hell, and I do not care. That means Muhammad was a racist. He had a problem with black people, according to this. Is that Islam? Are you done? I'm done. Is that Islam? Okay, so first of all, Dr. Why, why in the Arabic world are people are you gonna uh, let are me people talk have, or no? have a problem with are black you gonna people? Talk to, let me talk they still call uh, black people uh, um, uh, slaves in the Arabic world. There's a big racist problem in are Arabic Are you going to let me talk countries. or no? Yeah, you know, I, I'm just saying the truth. Why is yeah, that? And where did it come where from? Is, where is my turn in talking? Go ahead. Okay, so first of all, don't cut me. First of all, going to the first point, I'll address your second point. But, but that's the thing about you people. First of all, two no, minutes no, ago. Don't say you people. Yeah, My name I'll is David. Say, yeah, I'll, David. So what do you want me to say? You want me to say, say you you people too? You guys are all terrorists? You no, want me to say I, that? I, I didn't say anything. I so who's you, you people? I meant you, David, okay? That's the thing about David. One second, one second. Two seconds ago, he was okay with Jesus calling the woman dog, and he said it's not racist, and he was really nice to him. Absolutely. Once, once it came on his on his turn, oh my God, that's racist, and I'm all over that. You know, all of that thing. So again, for you, for marriage, it's not about age. You can be 18 and you're not ready to marry. So True. for marriage, okay, so at least we're doing something. So for marriage, there has to be physical maturity and spiritual maturity. First of all, uh, Aisha was, um, you know, engaged to someone who was not Muslim. So that was okay in the culture. That was even before the Prophet, you know, engaged her. That's one thing. So, was she spiritual mature? Yes, because the area, everyone over there, that was the normal age for everyone. You know, there were many bad people who hated Islam more than you. They couldn't say anything about it. You know why? Because it was normal at that time. Regarding the, um, the physical maturity, now they were engaged at six, and then they committed the marriage at nine. Oh, so they, six is a real number. Don't cut me, okay? Don't be a coward, don't cut me. When I'm done, I listen to you, listen to me, okay? So now they could have waited. If she wanted 10 years to be mature, they could have waited. They waited until she was physically mature, and that was the time it was needed. So for marriage, it's not about age. Today, 18, 18 years old, some of them are not ready for marriage. So for marriage, it's physical, physical maturity and spiritual maturity, and both of them were done. So the marriage was right, and even the ones who hate Islam more than you couldn't say anything about that time. Because as I told you, not only in Islam, 17th century, United Kingdom, the age was seven for marriage, so that's not a problem, okay? Today it is, I'm not saying no, it's not okay, but the norm at that time was something it's okay, that's okay. Okay, that's the first point. Now getting to your second point, okay? I didn't listen to most of what you said, but what I'm saying is, in Islam we have clear hadith that says, no one is better than anyone other than with piety. An Arab is not better than an Arab other than with piety. And a black is not, uh, or a white is not ever a black except with piety, okay? So whatever you say, that's up to you, okay? But now, come back to my original question where you address, is it okay for you to call people dogs and when the people, when they call you something, you don't like it, why is that? Is it okay for you not okay for some other people? I'm done. Like I said, the vernacular in that time, they understood what that meant. If you're outside the covenant, you're a dog. Why? Because you've rejected God. You're a kafir. So if that, if that doesn't help you, it wasn't a sin. It was the vernacular of today. So that's the answer. But one thing I am going to say. Everyone can say the same thing. Of course everyone can yeah, say the okay. same so, thing. So why are you mad about it? No, you're the one, you're the one who. You listen, someone. you keep cutting me off. I listen to you very fair and square. You came up to me and, and I asked you a very you simple. Ask Muslim. I asked you a very simple question. You oh, you're Muslim. cutting me off again. I'm just uh, You're cutting me off fact. again. Same fact. You're cutting me off again. Say that. Are you going to listen or no? I'm listening, but don't say. Don't be a coward. Things. Listen. I'm not. Okay, then listen. I listened to you. Did I not? Yeah, sure, but okay. don't say bad. So my question me. was: Was Muhammad a sinner? Yes or no? And you went on this whole spiel and said, "Well, there's big sins and small sins," and then you brought it over to Jesus, and then you brought up whether whether him calling someone a dog is an issue. And I told you no, and I explained myself. Now going back to the original question: Is Muhammad a sinner? Yes or no? Yeah, I answered that. I told you every man 
has a sin, either small or young, just as Jesus sinned. Prophet Muhammad may have done wrong things that he should have, you know, but not big things like you do or I do or any other person do. He might have made yeah, small mistakes. So what? Uh, every man sins, okay, just so, like Jesus. Okay, so where does God say in the Quran or the Bible that Jesus ever sinned? Okay, so let me get this straight. First of all, don't tell me God in the Bible. The Bible, the ones you have today, you don't even know who wrote it. That's Luke. not my question. Yeah, but... but Show me one scripture, ayah, verse, scripture in the Quran or the Bible or anywhere where Jesus sinned. Okay, so again, don't cut me. You're telling me, show me a verse by the God in the Bible. What I'm telling Forget you... Forget the Bible then, Quran. Where did, the, where did Allah in the Quran say Jesus sinned? Okay, so first of all, I never said... Jesus sinned according to the Quran. I say Jesus sinned according to the Bible that you say the word. Forget about the Bible. You said forget about the Bible. Let's so go to you the Quran. Don't in the Bible. No, let's go to the Quran. You Did don't Allah say anywhere for Jesus to ask forgiveness for his sin or he has sinned? Yes or no? Well, guess what? The Bible, uh, the Quran is not the biography of Jesus to tell you whatever he did was right or wrong. But that's not the thing. I'm telling you, all men committed sin. Even if the Bible you say it's holy, you say it's from God. In the Bible, he called the, ma the thing. You're because starting around the issue. No, I'm not. I'm not. I just asked you a simple even, question. Even, Quran, forget Bible, because you don't believe in it. Does your Quran... Of course, don't. Of course you don't. I don't of believe in the I Quran. Don't. It has no verification. Yeah, but, sure. but, but the issue here is whether your God in your book has ever asked Jesus to ask forgiveness for his sin, or he said, Jesus, you sinned. A very simple question, because I can show you verses where it said Muhammad sinned. I can show you verses where Ibrahim sinned. I can, in the Quran, in Moses sinned, Adam sinned, everybody else. But you just can't find one about Jesus. So I, I'm asking you, as a Muslim, is there anywhere in the Quran where it says Jesus sinned or asked forgiveness for sin? Very simple question. It's yes or no. Okay, so again, I'll say it again. Yes or no. I'll, uh, don't cut me, okay? No, no, no. Very yes or no. I don't have time to waste. Yes or no. You, you came ask for Muslims. Now, when Muslims come and they make you look bad, you say How are you making me look bad? You're yeah. looking bad. You can't even no, answer no. the question. Yes I or no? Am. I answered it. Uh, Can you find any ayah in the Quran where Jesus sinned or asked forgiveness for sin? Yes or no? Okay, so I said it before. I'll say it again. The Quran is not the biography of Jesus to say when he okay. sinned or not. Uh, am I, uh, uh, did I answer the ask the question clearly? Or do I need to be a little more clear? It's a yes or no question. It's wrong question. question. Yeah, it's, it's a wrong question. question. Okay, so what, question. what should the question be? Okay, so you told me about Jesus sinning. I told what you. should the question be? Well, get me the biography of Jesus, just like it's in the Bible. I'll get you his mistakes. Okay. That's so you're thing. telling me that the Quran's not complete. The Quran is not a complete biography of Jesus. You know that Jesus is not the center of the Quran. So I love that. That's why the Quran needs the Bible. At the end of the day, that's why the Bible says to Muhammad in Surah chapter 10, verses 94, "If you're in doubt concerning read, anything don't, revealed don't, therein, no, I'm reading your verse." No. Ask the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians. And I will tell you what the book says. The book says in Hebrews chapter 4, verses 15, that we have a high priest who was tempted in every way and yet without sin. So we have a Muslim admitting that the Quran is incomplete. It is not the complete thing. That's why every Muslim says, they say in ver vernacular, we must believe in the Torah. We must believe in the Zabur. We must believe in the Injil, which demonstrates that what they have is not the Torah, not the Zabur, not the G Injil. You can't say that the Quran is a complete book when it's not. It doesn't even have the Ten Commandments. It doesn't even explain, according to this guy, Jesus' life. So we need more than the Quran. That's why we are handing out free Bibles at the Bible booth, free information about Jesus. You want to know about Jesus? You're not going to find the story, according to this Muslim, the full story about Jesus. It's an incomplete story. The complete story, you want to understand what the Word of God means? Look at John chapter 1 and 1. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. You're not going to hear the full story from the Quran, according to this Muslim. It is incomplete. You're not going to know about whether Jesus sinned or didn't sin, except reading the Bible. You're not going to understand the meaning of the Messiah until you read the Bible. You're not going to really know if he died on the cross or resurrected properly unless you read the Bible. All you get is, is Cole's Notes versions in the Quran. It's a very small book picking pieces here and there. It's not even chronological in the, in the same place. You hear one thing here, one thing there, one thing here, and it's confusing. Why? Because the devil is the author of confusion, but God is the author of order. And if you want order, if you want truth, Jesus said it very clearly. I am the way I am the truth, I am the life, no one comes to God, John chapter 14 and 6 and 7, except by me. 
If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Reply or no? You can reply, sure. Thank you. Okay, so will I take the same time you talk to... No, it's my mic. Okay, so... I will choose. Yeah, but that's not fair. Of course, it's not fair. No, it's not. Yeah, sure. It's my mic. Yeah, sure. If you want to preach, you can go to the Islamic booth and preach. Okay, so don't call Muslims. Don't put them in your... I asked you a question. You couldn't answer, so we're done. I did. I did. I did. Your prophet is not the final standard. No no other Muslim would follow his pattern, number one. You've already admitted that the Quran doesn't have a complete version of Jesus. And you can't even answer... And you've you answered my question. Muhammad is a sinner. Thank you. That was my question. That was my question. never said that. Now, if you want to start preaching... Let me... Let me... I will let you let respond me to me, but you're not going to take my mic and start preaching. I'm not preaching. I'm just correcting you. Go ahead. Okay. So first of all, now you're saying whatever is in the Bible. Which Bible do you say? Dude, you don't even know who the father of Joseph is. In one Bible, it's Eli. In the other Bible, it's some other guy. You don't even know who the thing is. Which Bible are you talking about? Which Bible are you talking about? You don't even know what you're talking about. You don't even know who authored the Bible. Who's Luke? You don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, you already said you, are, you already who's said Luke? that the Quran is incomplete. Can I, can I so you don't even know what I you're talking about. That. I never said that. I never you said it's not the biography of Jesus. You no, don't even know whether Jesus sinned or not. Yeah, I asked you a very simple question. Does the Quran say Jesus sinned or ask forgiveness? And you were stuttering and you were saying it's not a biography of Jesus. That means it's incomplete. Can I answer? Absolutely. Okay, so Jesus is just like any other prophet, just like David, just like Moses. To you. No, I'm just saying whatever the truth is, okay, you don't like it, then you don't like it. But, I'm, but my point is, Jesus is like any other prophet. So if you want the biography of Jesus in the Quran, every other prophet will be in the Quran, okay? And then it will be endless. The Quran has... How many prophets are there in the Quran? 25 are mentioned. 25 are mentioned. How many prophets are mentioned in total in the Quran? Yeah, that's what I said. Like there's, there's a couple hundred thousand, right? Or thousands. Where is that in the Quran? Now you're the expert. No, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. No, I, I'm answering you. Okay, yeah. The Bible mentioned in the Quran. Are there more prophets? Because apparently a prophet was sent to every nation. And I know there's, a, there's more than 300 nations in the world. Does not your Quran say there was prophets sent to every nation? You're a Muslim. You, you should just verify. You understand English, my friend? So I'm telling you the ones mentioned by name in the Quran are 25. Are there other prophets? Because you just yeah, said... Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, so that was a very simple answer. Yeah, sure. So because you just, you just said all answer. the prophets are... are, are, are their, their life and whatever you said there is in, in mentioned in the Quran. And there's a lot of prophets that were not mentioned in the Quran. You see, you, you see what I'm saying? That makes my point. That makes my How point. does that make your point? That the, 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 the Quran is not the biography of prophets. Okay? It's sent for some, for some people of that age. We get from the other prophets what's needed for us. The other things are not mentioned as, you know, for every other prophet. If it's not like a biography of whoever did what or not. But now, coming to your thing. So you quoted a verse and you lied in it. It never said Muslims are going to be okay when they ask people of the book. It's saying you people are never going to be correct unless you address to your book. And that's the thing. If you look at the book, Jesus said, I can do nothing by myself, but the Father who tells me, he sent me. He's the only true God in the thing. And by the way... Um, yeah, you're jumping like three different, four different topics. Like, what's your point right now? Okay, my point is, you're quoting the Bible. The Bible, first of all, you don't know who wrote it. You don't know who's Luke. And the Bible changes over time. Even at this time, we have so many different virgins, virgins of the Bible. So I don't know why you place your salvation in a book that has contradictions that people can add to, that people can subscribe to. And my last question, who's the father of Joseph? Okay, so I'm going to get there to the Father of Jesus, yeah, sure. but I'm going to answer your question. Yeah, sure. Why is it for the last 2,000 years, every Christian... Why do you answer, not, answer, not, answer? I'm answering this yeah. one, and then we'll go to the next one. So why is it for the last 2,000 years, what we see is Christians still believing in the same thing, that Jesus died, was buried, and rose again. We still practice baptism, we still practice communion, and we still carry the same teaching for 2,000 years. That has not changed. The only thing that has changed is 600 years later, a guy in Mecca and Medina, who wasn't even there to even know the story of Jesus Christ, gets a revelation in a cave from an apparent angel, Gabriel. He thought it was a demon to begin with. He goes to another Christian, to Waraka, to verify what he's experienced. And so now this guy says, hey, you know what? I think what you experience is like the, the prophet. I'm answering answer your question. No, so what I'm trying to tell you... the father of the, Joseph. That's the second question. I'll get to the father of Joseph. But this is the first question. You're talking about the Bible. We have manuscripts dating as late as or as early as 150 BC. We just found that in 1947, the Dead Sea Scrolls. And we have thousands of manuscripts all throughout the world, found in Egypt, found all throughout the Mediterranean and all throughout Europe that has been recorded and say the same story of Jesus Christ. And we have extra biblical accounts 
of the stories of Jesus Christ and even uh, the early church fathers have recorded portions of scripture. So even if you want to make an argument which Bible to use, we have record after record after record of the same stories and it's the same in whatever Bible you want to use. And in, re and in regards to uh, Joseph, I, I don't know the, uh, the full lineage of Joseph except for what we see in the book of Matthew and the book of Luke. And there's a lot of interpretations about that, whether, whether or not he, he was a... Um, uh, uh, he married uh, after uh, he married uh, Mary after or or which lineage it's following whether it's Mary's or whether it's Joseph's and there's a lot of understanding about that and you can look it up for yourself but there are two lineages and the historical account or what most people take is that one is following the lineage of Mary and one is following the lineage of Joseph and if you don't like that and you want to dig deeper into it you can that's your answer and us Christians keep those same lineages, those same genealogies in our Bible for the last 2,000 years because we don't have a problem with it. We understand something you don't. Just like you have scriptures in the so Quran, explain it. just like you have scriptures in the Quran that you require tasfir, proper interpretation. So let's go on next if you have a problem. Because the real problem, the real problem is this. The real problem is, listen, the real problem is this. If you were to die today, sir, and stand before God, you would not know where you're going to go. You have no assurance of where you're going to go if you were to die today. And the reason being is because you have sin short, in your bro. life. You have sin in your life don't sin. and Jesus Christ died don't for your sin. sin. Don't sin. Jesus Christ died for your sin. And the reason why you have no assurance of salvation is because you reject the mercy of God. Now, my question for you is, will you receive the mercy of God? You can have all this knowledge in the world, but at the end of the day, you need the mercy of God, the forgiveness of God, and it's available through the mercy of God, who is Jesus Christ. Will you receive him, sir? Okay, first of all, that was a terrible answer. Now, in the Bible, if you go to Matthew, you will see that Joseph is the son of Jacob, and he's a descendant of Solomon, son of David. Okay, now if you go to the same Bible, just go to Luke, you will see that Joseph is son of Heli, okay? I don't know about you, but to me that doesn't sound like Jacob. And he's the son of Nathan of David. So who's he a descendant of? Solomon or, or Nathan? And who's his father? Heli or Jacob? That's one point. Now the other point you're saying about, uh, you know, all the other Bibles, whatever, all that stuff, uh, interpretation in the Quran that's something you need interpretation for okay but you don't find in the Quran two ayahs contradicting each other that you can even make it right and then you tell me interpretation that's not interpretation that's you making up some religion okay and no 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 there are verses like Muhammad being sent only to the Arabs and then you have verses that say where is that verse dude you're making it up where's that okay, verse okay I will pull it up I will pull it up okay just hold on while you keep talking and I will pull it up yeah pull it up now yeah I am but, but he's making things up no, he's, he's making not. things no. up he's telling me there's a verse the Jesus prophet Muhammad was saying to the Arab. Jesus died on the cross as the Holy Spirit. Does your religion have the Holy Spirit? Do you have it? I have it. Okay, so come and answer me then. The thing is, get me the verse until yep. until then you're a liar to me. Okay, so get me the verse. Yeah, get a verse. Get a verse from the White Bible. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. Okay. Don't get up from the Quran. Get up from the White Bible and call Muhammad name and say that shit. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so Surah chapter 42, verses 7. And thus we have revealed to you an Arabic Quran so that you may warn the mother of the cities, Mecca, and those around her. Where does it say only, my friend? It says that you may warn the cities of Mecca and the, the cities around her. And that's why they revealed it in Arabic. Nobody else speaks Arabic. That's Surah chapter 42 and 7. No, no, and I will continue said, to find no, more. No, yeah, yeah, sure. So give me a second. So that's 47 and 2. No, okay, but the thing 42 and 7. Yeah, but the thing is, you said that it has an eye in the Quran that Prophet Muhammad was sent only to the Arabs. Why you got is, okay, he is speaking Arabic to preach to Mecca and whoever, okay, and the people around them, but that doesn't say only to Mecca. So I'll stand again with my request, sure. please. Get me the verse that you said that in the Quran, Jesus, uh, sorry, Prophet Muhammad was only sent to the Arabs alone. But let me ask you one question because actually that really bo bothers me. Right. Since when was the salvation through believing that Jesus died for your sins? Was it for the time of Jesus or was it Jesus after Jesus died or was it after Jesus died by 
300 years or at the time of his time? It was from Genesis chapter 3. Okay, so from the, the beginning. So from the very beginning, yeah. you had to believe that Jesus died for your sins to be salvation. You had to believe that the salvation of God was required and it was required through a sacrifice. And God made the first sacrifice for Adam. And he said in Genesis chapter 3, 15, I'll put enmity between you and the woman, between thy seed and her seed, and it will bruise his, hat, his heel. No worries, yes. So that's it. That's why the Jews had a sacrificial system. That's yeah, why yeah, Abraham sure. had a yeah, sacrificial yeah, sure. system and everybody it. else. Okay, so by, by that I understand that if someone came to Jesus to ask him for salvation, he would tell him, just believe in my, that I died for your sins and that's it? Jesus said, unless you believe in me, or unless I wash your feet, you have no part in me. Without the salvation of Jesus, nobody has any part with God because he is the salvation of God. Yeah, but what I'm saying is now for you, you're saying you have to believe that Jesus died for your sins to be saved. Right? Absolutely. Okay, so my question is, what is the time for the beginning of this idea to be like at the time of Jesus? Was that the only way to be saved as well or no? Now, like I said, the people in the beginning. Like, how, how, how could the people at the time of Jesus be saved? That's my question. Yeah, they had images of what Jesus was about to do, pointing to Jesus. So everybody that came before Jesus had the, had the patterns that were set by God, the sacrifices for sin. And everybody that came after Jesus has the actual sacrifice for sin. So that's why everybody had to believe in a sacrifice for sin, because the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God, the mercy of God is eternal life. And it's through the sacrifice for your sin that we receive the mercy. That's why we have the sacrificial system in the Old Testament. And that's why we have Jesus' sacrifice in the New. Okay, but like, just to make my question clear, let's say I was living at the time of Jesus, okay? Now I want to go to him and tell him, I want to be saved. Would he tell me that you have to believe in my sins, that I died for your sins? Or how would salvation be at his time? And if it's something different at his time, when did the idea come of salvation? For yeah, sure. Jesus said in John chapter 6 and 47, truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me has everlasting yeah, but life. Believes so, so what I'm saying is, is that when you trust in what Jesus did, you're trusting in everything he's about to accomplish, what he represents and his person. So Jesus Christ is the Savior. So when you trust in Jesus the Savior, you will be forgiven for your sins. Why? Because he's the reflection of God's salvation. He's the manifestation of God's yeah, mercy. Yes, and so this is why you and everybody here needs Jesus, whether you like it or not. And if you don't accept Jesus, you're standing before God today already condemned because of your sin. You're going to stand before God and be judged. Just get the preaching. Let's get no, it's not preaching. This is the word of God. Yeah, yeah, sure. The wages of sin is death. Which one, Matthew or Luke? Matthew, one? Mark, Luke, and John. That's which okay, one. So all of them. The all of them then? testify. If, if both of them are Doesn't right. Doesn't matter who the father is. Oh, yeah, He's sure. your father. I don't know your father. You don't even know your ten generation yeah, sure, father. What's the, his name? But the government. You don't even know. But you exist, right? Well, yeah, but I'm not God, okay? But okay. Jesus was God. No, no, he was the Son was of God, and he was God in the flesh. He was Emmanuel, and God with us. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, bro. The testimony is true. No, the testimony is true. You got four let's, witnesses. Let's the other ones. No, you got four witnesses of Jesus' Luke, coming. Luke is not and is Jesus' Luke is not a witness. Okay, according to you. Everybody else in the Christian community. Christian scholars. Do you know who Luke is? Do you know who Luke yes, is? Yes, yes. He was a companion Luke? of Peter and Paul. That's who he was. Yeah, exactly. He, he was never, a physician. Yeah, exactly. All the early church knew he who never, he was. Yeah, exactly. He never Good. met Jesus and he never saw yeah, anything. He, That's okay. Thing. So That's did Muhammad write the Quran? Yes or no? The Quran was written at the time of Who wrote it? Dude, it was written by the companions. Yeah, I am. The companions wrote it at the time of the prophet. That's why I said. Okay, so the companions wrote it. Muhammad didn't write it. Yeah, sure. Jesus didn't write the Injil. Yeah, but so Luke is a companion of Peter, and he wrote what Peter said. So what's the problem? Peter was an eyewitness of Jesus. So if he has a scribe writing for him, what's the problem? Yeah, just let me answer. You. Yeah, that's the thing, my friend. What's the thing? It's written many years after by some people who never met Jesus, so they never really know whatever was done or not. That's the thing. So was the Quran. Yeah, the Quran, I'm telling you, it was written at the time when it was revealed. It was written by the people who read the uh, Wahi. At the time of the of the Prophet, he could have corrected them if they'd done anything wrong or not. Unlike the Bible, which was written by people we don't know, that never saw Jesus, and, you know, there were never any eyewitnesses or something. You see, That's the problem with your narrative and your story is that, according to the Quran, at the time of Muhammad, no, 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 listen to me, listen to me, at the time of the of Muhammad, according to the Quran, it's Surah chapter 3, Surah chapter 5, and in many other passages, there was an actual Bible that was read by actual Christians and Jews, and Muhammad validated that. 
And in fact, in order for the Quran to be validated, it needs, a, it needs a witness to validate it. You can't just come out of a cave and say, I got the revelation, this is proof, and it verifies everything from the past. How do you know it verifies it? You need to take the real $20 bill and the fake $20 bill and put it together. And if you're telling me that there wasn't a real Bible at 600 AD, at the time of Muhammad, that means the Quran was never verified, never proven true, and it's a witness on its own. But I'm here to tell you today that the Bible has plenty of witnesses. It has a witness of the Torah, witness of the Zabur, witness of the Injil. All the prophets testified the same thing. That's why we put all the prophets in one book, the Bible. But you never did that with the Quran. You know why? Because the moment the Quran came, there was a problem. The problem was, uh-oh, Isaiah never talked about Muhammad. The Torah doesn't verify the Muhammad. The Injil doesn't verify anything that we're saying. So you know what? We're going to start our own religion, call everybody Muslims, make up a whole new narrative, say Jesus was a Muslim. He never called himself Muslim. Moses never called himself Muslim. None of them spoke Arabic. None of them prayed to Mecca. None of them prayed five times a day. All of this is inventions. It's inventions from a man in Arabia and a tradition that came from people that are so distant from the traditions of the true prophets. If your book is so true, you should have put the Bible along with the Quran and say, we make no difference between the revelations, but you do. So that tells me there was no verification for the Quran because it is false. It is a false revelation, no offense. It is from a prophet that invented a whole totally different narrative, denying the salvation of Jesus Christ, denying the true and the living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No, I'm telling you the truth because I want to save you. I want you to come to the truth. Save yourself by Bible. No, I'm saved. I got Jesus. Bro. You don't got my salvation. Do you? Do you have salvation? Okay, so let me... Do you have it? I'm not here You said to save myself. I want to know if you're... I said I'm saved. Are you saved? Yeah, like you can say whatever you want. Are you saved? Okay, so I'm going to address... Are you? I mean, do you know for sure that you're going to be in heaven? Okay, so... Very simple question. Okay, you're not going to talk like 30 minutes and then tell no, me... Just answer, answer yes or no. I will answer when I address the first things that you... Answer this first, first and then go no, to the no, second. It's not up to you. It's not like... Yeah, it's not... Well, it's so simple. It's either you're saved or you're not. I can say I'm saved because I'm blood washed, I'm bought with the Holy Ghost, and I'm a child of God. That's why. I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I'm saved. What about you? Are you saved? Okay, you know, people, what's the funny thing? What's so funny? Are you saved? Yes or no? Because I want you to get saved, bro. If you, don't even, if you can't say to me right now that you know that you're going to go to heaven, then what are you following? You're following an uncertain path. I'm telling you, Jesus Christ is the certain path. He can give you assurance today. He can, he can take away your sins so that you can have access to heaven. And you can be a child of God today. So are you saved? Okay, so let's actually go because that's a good point. Can you tell me when was the thing that saved Jesus? Can I, should I be saved by believing? Go ahead, I'm just asking you if you're saved. That's all, simple. I'm saved by Muhammad, saved okay. by Allah, saved by Quran, whatever you want to be saved by. Are you saved? Okay. Or do you know if you're going to go to heaven? Do you, you know if you're going to go to Jannah? Yes or no? Okay, for the argument's sake, I'll tell you no if you want to listen to it, okay? But let's, let's get okay, to so the point. so he's not saved. Yeah, let's get to the important point. Now, at what time was it established that I have to believe that Jesus died for my sins to be saved? Was it at Jesus' time? Was it at some other time? We answered that question. It was all times. There was there there was signs pointing to Jesus that 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 was representing Jesus. The, the temple sacrifices, the sacrifices that was commanded by every nation to do when they sinned, and that's what every nation did. And you can find records of this all throughout history. Even your own your own uh, Arabic okay. tradition. People are still sacrificing. You go to Mecca, you surround it, you throw stones at at at, at the at, at Shaitan, and then you do these sacrifices. But your tradition doesn't explain it. All you say is that Abraham sacrificed, therefore we sacrifice. You don't even know the reason why Abraham sacrificed. I can tell you why. Is because sacrifice is a necessity for sin. The wages of sin is death, yeah, just but the gift comment. of God is eternal life. That's you're, why you're preaching. Just make it sure. Absolutely, I'm preaching. I'm yeah, teaching, okay. preaching, declaring the word of the Lord. That's that's what I'm here for. Yeah, sure. But the thing is, so you're telling me if someone came to Jesus, tell him how to get the salvation, he would tell him, believe in my sin, believe I died for your sins, yes or no? Sorry, say that again. Like let's say I was living or you were living at the time of Jesus, and you're telling me for salvation you have to believe Jesus died for your sins. So now let's say someone went to Jesus to ask him for salvation. Jesus would just have told him, believe that I will die for your sins. That's it? Absolutely. Okay, now this guy, I'll tell you, he preaches. He doesn't even know what he preaches. Now if you go to Mark 10, 17 to 31. Again, it's Mark 10, 17, 31. Again, it's Mark 10, 17, 31. Now this is a story. A man went to Jesus and he told him, I want to be saved. 
guess what? He, he never told him, you have to believe I died for your sins. He never told him, believe in me. He never told him, I will die on the cross for you. He never told him any of these things they're making up. You know what he told him? He told the man, believe in the commandments. Now this, I'm not making it up like he's making. I'm proving it with the verses. He told me there is like an ayah, whatever. He made it up. I told him, give yeah. me the ayah. If we stay 10 years, he's not going to get it because he's making it up. But now I'm giving you the verse. It's Mark 10, 17 to 31. Open it, read it. Here, he will tell you how to save. So Jesus would know better than me. He would know better than him how to be saved. So again, the man went to Jesus, asked him, how should I be saved? He never told him, believe in the Trinity. He never told him anything. He just told him, believe in the commandments. First of those commandments, okay, is, you know, uh, there's only one God to love your labor, all that stuff. He told him, believe in the commandments, and that's how you be saved. Now, that's Jesus for you people. That's Jesus telling you how to be saved. If you want to listen to Just Jesus, read it, read it, read it, read it. If you want to, you can read it. I just gave you the verses. No, oh, you want me to read it? Sure, man. I, I was sure, waiting for you to read it. Me, don't cut me. No, I want you to read it. Yeah, don't cut me. I'll let you read it. But the thing is, after that, Jesus is telling you salvation by following the commandments. First of all, them not having any associates with God. Okay, let's stick with Mark this chapter guy, 10, 17. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Because that, you, now you're going on a preaching tirade. Let's just go yeah, so with what okay you say. You to preach it is okay for me to and preach because it's my mind. No, you're, you're, you're not the preacher. No, let's wait, stick wait, with why are you afraid? Mark no, chapter brother, 10. Because you brought up a verse. Yo, yo, brother, listen. If Mark you chapter know, 10, no, no, no. verses 17. I'm going to read what he finish. said. Let me finish. Let me. I want to read him what he said, right? Yeah, sure. Let me finish I, and then you can okay. read. Stupid. Okay. So the thing is, if you know about God, don't Jesus tells you salvation is by following the commandments. And this guy is telling you salvation is by believing Jesus died for his sins. So again, people, it's up to you. Follow Jesus or this random guy who came 2,000 years after Jesus who doesn't even know how Jesus li looked like, who doesn't even speak the, the language Jesus spoke who doesn't even know anything about anything, who doesn't even follow his book. Now this book is supposed to be holy and it's in the book it says, follow the commandments. Should I believe the holy book or should I believe this guy that I just met to his... To you repeated his, yourself, like, let's read it then. Can we read it now? Because you're, you're just repeating it. No, no, one last thing. Go ahead. Okay, so after that, if you read the full story, the guy, the man told him, okay, I have done the commandments, what else should I do? Okay, and then he tells him, okay, you have this guy was a rich man and he told him okay sell all your belongings and come follow me again he never said anything about believing and he died for his sins or whatever so jesus is saying one way of salvation you're saying some other way of salvation which one should i believe Wait, in? you said that a couple times can we read it now yeah, sure. okay so jesus said why do you call me uh, verse 17 it says and when he was gone forth into his way there came one running and kneeled to him asking him good master what shall i do yeah. that I might inherit eternal life. Yeah. Okay, good question, right? And Jesus said, why do you call me good? There is none good but one, that is God. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, defraud not, honor your father and mother. And he said, Master, I have observed all these from my youth. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him and said unto him, one thing you lack, Go your way, sell whatever you have, and give to the poor, and you shall have treasure in heaven, and come take up your cross and follow. Oh, oh where is the cross? Where's the cross? Where's the cross? Where's the cross? Where's the cross? Take up your cross and follow me. Okay, yeah. Wow, after wow. That. Yeah, well, okay. after that, yeah. So then it, it goes on, and he said he was sad, and when he went away, grieved, for he had great possessions. Yeah. And Jesus looked around and said unto his disciples, how hardly shall they that have riches enter the kingdom of God? And the disciples were astonished. But Jesus answered and said unto them, Children, how hard is it for those that trust in riches to enter the kingdom of heaven? It's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter yeah. into the kingdom of heaven. And they were astonished at a matter, saying, Then who then can be saved? And Jesus looked at them and said, With men it is impossible. Wait, stop there. That's a caveat right there. With men it is impossible, so it's impossible to be saved. Head. Even if you did the commandments but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. Then Peter began to say, we have left all and have followed you. And Jesus answered and said, verily I say to you, there is no man that has left house, brother, sister, father, mother, wife, children, lands for my sake. And what does that say? It doesn't say my the gospel. Yeah, so what? I'm asking for <laughs> and the And he shall receive a hundred now in this time, houses, brethren, sisters, mothers, children, lands, and with persecution, the word to come eternal life so the bible clears up his dilemma 
the guy comes along and said, Sir, I've done... He said, what does... This is what Jesus said. Let's go back because it seems like you missed it. He said... Can I just say something? What shall I do to, in, to inherit eternal life? Jesus said, you know the commandments. Now, Jesus didn't say you could be saved by the commandments. He said, you know the commandments. And he said, I've done them all. But Jesus looks at the heart and he said, well, okay, so you've done them all. Sell everything and follow me. Because the Bible says you should have no other God but me. But money was his God. But he couldn't do it. And so what Jesus said is, how hard is it for a rich man to enter eternal life? And he said, then who then can be saved? And this is what Jesus said. With man, it's impossible. Not now, not now, not you now. can't be saved by your good works, by how many times you pray to Mecca, by how many commandments you do. It is impossible, not yet. The only way you can be saved is when you follow Jesus, believe in Jesus, and the gospel. The gospel is the good news. Jesus died, was buried, and rose again. So you brought up a scripture that answered your own question. You just didn't read the verses right beside it. Okay. Does that answer your question? Can I ask you something now? Okay, thanks for proving me right. Now, there is no way of How did I anywhere. prove you right? Yeah, you did. Where is the part believing that I died for your sins? That's my question. Now, if you What's read the, the gospel? Where is it in the Bible that says that? Hey, Jesus didn't say sure, that. Sure, sure. First, first Corinthians chapter 15. No, no, I'm saying explains this. what the gospel Why is. Why didn't Jesus tell him about it then? I'm not ignorant. That's the thing. That's okay. Well, the problem, the, the pro okay, the problem, sir. I'm not the problem with The problem with you is that you're doing, you're just picking something from the Bible that you don't believe in. Can I ask you? And you don't want to look at the rest of the story or the book or the context. Every Christian knows what the gospel is. We preach the gospel every day. The gospel is that Jesus died, was buried, and rose again. Okay. This is the good news that a Savior has come into the world. Okay. Everybody knows what the gospel okay. is, except you. Okay, but I want to ask you something. No, but we're not did talking to you. Did Jesus not say, wait until I finish. Did Jesus, wait, wait, did, did Jesus not say, I have come to fulfill the law of Moses, not abolish it? Why aren't you fulfilling the law of Moses like Jesus did? Why aren't you? Are you a male or a female? I have served the Sabbath. Let me, Listen, are you let me. following the Torah laws? Are you a male or a female? Female. Can I okay. forget about it? No worries. Uh, when I'm done, you can talk to her however you like. The thing is, my friend, now when Jesus was asked about salvation, that's my point. When Jesus was asked about salvation, he said something other than what you say. So either Jesus is right in his way of salvation or you're right. Look, look. Now, look, Jesus, look. now Jesus could have saved, could have saved, okay, man. Just believe I'll die for your sins and now you're saved. But that isn't what he said, so it's obviously not true. So why are you not following Jesus in the way of salvation as he said to, to the people? I mean, Jesus knows what's right, you know, and he said what's right, right? So, so like I said, I mean, you don't believe in the Bible. I, 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 we can go verse, I think what might help if you're willing, if you're up to it, we can sit down and read the Gospels together and see what it really says instead of just guessing and picking something from the Bible. We can just see what it says. And then after that, then we can really like say what Jesus really taught about this. Every Christian knows Jesus died for sins. That's why we carry that message. And if you're telling me that the message is not that Jesus died for sins, and you're saying all of that stuff, then, then what's your problem with the Bible? Well, then what's your, if, if, if Jesus never taught about dying for sins or anything like that, then, then, then for you as a Muslim, you should have no problem with the Bible. But the reason why you guys feel it's corrupt is because it does talk about someone dying for their sins. It does talk different things in the Quran about Jesus. And that different thing is that Jesus did die, he was buried and rose again. Now, the thing is, there's a scripture, there's an ayah in the, in the Quran that, that Get me the first I yeah, talked yeah, sure, about, sure, and sure, then sure. let's talk about. Okay, but, but but while we're talking, I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna just stop what I'm saying, and I'll go back there as well. But there's an ayah in the Quran where just where prove it. where. Get me the yeah, ayah hold on, Get I, me the... I, I I don't forget. No, no, can I, I don't say forget. something? No, no, not yet. Before Let me finish what I'm something... about to say, sir, 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 sir. There's an ayah in the Quran where it's talking about Jews and Christians and saying, you know, what is Abraham? He's a Christian or a Jew, and 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 Muhammad or Allah says, you know, neither of you guys were there. You didn't, you know that ayah to make to make that uh, claim. You don't know what Abraham was. Neither of you was there. Do you know that one? Do you know that one? Are you gonna allow me to talk? Okay, sir. It's not it's not difficult. I'm a very fair person. No, you're not. I am very fair. Does it does it say that? Okay, it says that. 
Is there any Muslim that knows that yes, ayah? Yes, I know it. Yes, but the thing yes. is, you know. Waqala, no, 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 no. no. Waqala, okay. waqala, waqala Ibrahim la Yehuda, wa la Nasara. It's not that. It's not that. Wa huwa Hanifan, monotheist. Hanifan. He was a Hanif. He was a Hanif. You fucking no. Down syndrome idiot. Wa huwa Hanifan. He was Hanif. A monotheist. Wa ma ana min al mushrikeen. And he was not of the mushrikeen, the idol, the idolaters. Okay, I don't know if that's the ayah that I'm referring to. It is, because I read the Quran. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go back to the Joseph, uh, not the Joseph thing, the other one that I said about the, the Mecca thing and, 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 and uh, him being sent to the Arabs or something like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find can out. Can I just say something? And you can go talk. Can I say something? Okay, so first of all, like I said, before I quoted the Bible, I made sure everyone knows what verse I'm talking about so that they, they can see it for themselves. Just like I'm not making it up like you are, okay? That's one thing. If you want to quote the Quran, I have no problem with that. Just give me the ayah. Let's read it like we read whatever was in the, the thing that I quoted and let's go through it. Don't just tell me there's something over there and then everyone has to look for it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, I'm, I'm assuming that you know that you're, you're Quran and I know, I know my Bible. I know it, I know it. So when you spit out things, uh, you know, know you can it. assume no, that I know my Bible. Bible. Okay, tell me the verses. No. I, I can tell you this verse. Let I can verify what you're saying, whether okay, it's... Okay, so you don't know the Bible then. So you don't know the Bible. Yo, yo, yo. No, 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 I know the Bible, okay, but so we're talking yo. about the Quran. Yo. Yeah, sure, but that, that, that's, the, that's the thing, okay? Yo. No, but you brought up a verse. I knew where it was. I knew where you were going and I answered you. Now, I brought up a verse in the Quran. And, and you don't know where it is and you can't answer me so so look I mean maybe your level of scholarship for the Quran is not the highest that's fine and I you know maybe mine is not the best but at least you as a Muslim should know where your stuff is I as a Christian know where my stuff is and I'm just bringing up stuff and I want you to verify it right so I said something a little earlier about you picking a verse and said that Muhammad is sent to the world and I said there's a verse that says Muhammad was sent to the Arabs and I read one verse where you said you said he was sent to Mecca and the cities around that and you were saying well that doesn't mean he was sent to the Arabs so I, I can stand corrected no, no, no. I can yeah, I, exactly. I can stand thank correct you, thank on you. something that's thank fine thank you for being God but, Sally. No, no, no I am an honest person no, no, but one thing I do know is that there are verses in the Quran that say one thing somewhere and something another for instance the creation story I mean we have some places where where the days are one thing in one verse and the days are another and then you you as a Muslim try to put them together and say it means the same thing it's the same thing with the Bible we have verses that say one thing but you need the complete story to verify it. and you're shaking your head as if it's not and and we can sit here and I can I can pull up verses and we can go through every single one of them yeah yeah sure but, but I just don't know why why waste your time why did you just why did you just be honest I am and acknowledge that the, okay because I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna be pulling some things up yeah, yeah, sure okay? sure I'll answer them no worries that's the thing you can ask whatever you want, I'll answer it then. But the thing is, he never answered my question, okay? What's the question? Why wasn't Jesus saying, you will have to believe that I died for your sins when the man asked him? Didn't he know that's the way of salvation or are you making it up? Now Jesus, the man asked him how to be saved. He never told him about to believe in the Trinity. He never told him that you have to believe I died for your sins, all of that stuff. He told them, follow the commandments. Now, what well, if there's two options. Either Jesus is right in his own salvation way, or you're right. Now, Jesus said, you don't have to believe that I died for your sins. He told them, follow the commandments. And then when he said, I observed them, he told them, follow me. Now you're saying there's another way for salvation opposing to what Jesus is saying. So I just want to answer, ask, who should I follow? Should I follow Jesus? The holy man, whatever you told him, God or whatever, or should I follow you? Now there are two contradicting things. Jesus telling me for salvation you have to follow the commandments. You're telling me for salvation I have to believe in Jesus dying for my sins. So which one should okay, I follow? Okay, we answered this, but I read the whole verse. Yeah, it talked I about point. It, it talked point. about believing in the gospel. It talked about carrying your cross. Yeah, it yeah, talked yeah. about believing in Jesus, following him. And that's in the context of everything Jesus taught. So we if you want to, we believe that, but we no, don't. But, but the problem, the problem is your struggle right now is what Jesus said, and he explained himself. No, he didn't. Even, he did it. He did. He did. He that, said, he said, what are the, he, 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 did, he, said, he didn't mention. No, that. no, listen, listen, listen. He didn't say you would be saved by the commandments. Okay. The guy said, I've, he said, the commandments say this. And he said, I've kept them. And he said, okay, so all you have and follow me. Can so I he couldn't Can do I that. And what Jesus was doing was proving a point that his heart was not ready to receive the truth. Can I answer? And the only way you would be saved, like the Bible says, anyone who has left everything and have trusted in the gospel, follow me, will not only have the blessing, but have eternal life. 
Jesus just said that in the verses, and I'm not going to repeat it again and again and again. Like I said, if you want to know what the Bible says, we can sit down together and read it together, and then you can come up with your own conclusions. Yeah, but if you're just going to pick something out, I mean, anybody can pick things out of context and say whatever we want to say, but let's not do that. Yeah, That's my point. Yeah, Jesus not say Okay, so the thing is, you picked up something, and then I picked up something. I'm not picking up for something other than for you to explain it. Now, you don't, you can't explain it, that's something up to you. But my thing is, I asked you at the beginning, what is the way for salvation? You told me you have to believe that Jesus died for your sins. So then I asked you, when, In was, the this, context. when was this belief brought? Was it at the time of Jesus? Was it at, before Jesus? Was it after Jesus? I told you from the beginning. Every... Don't cut me, man. Don't cut me. Don't, no, don't cut me. But we're repeating you're ourselves. You're brave, right? You're brave, right? Don't don't Absolutely, I'm brave. Okay. I'm brave to tell you got to stop okay, so, because you're so repeating the same me. thing. When I'm brave enough you, to take the when needle off you, the record because it's a broken record. You're a broken record right now. I'm very brave. And I'm telling you straight, you're a broken record, bro. Can you wait? Can you wait? Did Jesus not say the Father is greater than I? Yes. So why do you not worship the Father? Why no, I, I do worship the Father through Jesus. The, through Jesus. Jesus said, why Why through Jesus? One second, one second. Let me pull what you said again. Jesus, are you going to talk to me or are you going to talk to her? Jesus said the Father, God the Father, the Creator, okay, who has no form and is the master of the universe, is greater than I. I'm a servant. Sure. Now, if Jesus is God the Father's servant, why do you put up equal to God the Father? That's blasphemy. Sure. The reason why Jesus Christ is called the Word of God is because He's the image of the invisible God. Jesus Christ is the revelation of God's attributes. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. As He's the revelation of God's attributes in real time. And God is God, the uncreated outside of time, and He reveals His Word, and that's how we experience God. No, no, I'm talking to everybody. I'm responding to His question. And that's why we go to God through the revelatory means, which is Jesus Christ. There's one intermediate between God and man. It's the man, Jesus Christ. That's how we we worship God and nobody can come to God or worship God except through the intercession or through the revelation of God's presence nobody can because you would never know who to worship unless God reveals himself and so Jesus is the revelation of God's glory and that's why we worship God through Jesus Christ because he is the Word of God you as a Muslim worship God through the Quran or through the revelatory words of Muhammad and that's how you know God but God somehow has to reveal something about himself for you to worship that God. And God revealed his glory and explained his person through the person of Jesus Christ. The Bible says no one has seen God at any time, but the only begotten of the Father has revealed him. Now, I'm, I'm answering all your questions and you're taking up a lot of time. So what, what would you like right now? Do you want to get saved? Are you saved? Because you said you weren't. Would you like to get the mercy of God in your life? Because obviously you're here for a reason. You're here because you have questions. I don't, I don't know your heart, but you wouldn't be here and wasting your time unless God is calling you and knocking at the door of your heart. There's something that God is trying to get a hold of. I know this because the gospel is the desire of every person's heart. Everyone is looking for good news of salvation. Make it short. Make it short. I'm not going to make it short, sir. I'm going to tell you the truth. Every heart is seeking for redemption. Everyone is seeking for forgiveness. Everyone is seeking for hope. Everyone is seeking for mercy. And if you're not seeking for mercy, me talking to you is a waste of time. Now, have you received the mercy of God yet? I'll be damned if my mercy is based on what you say or whatever your saving things are said because you can't even answer a simple question. Now again, I wouldn't answer the question because now it's ready for the people. They can go to Mark 10, 17 to 31, see what Jesus said about salvation. And it's up to them if they want to follow Jesus. We in just his read way. it. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's up to them if they want to follow Jesus in his way of salvation or they follow you in their salvation and then it's their option. Okay, but one of the thing is, again, we believe Jesus was the way at his time, okay? I'm not saying anything about that. I believe he was the way, he was the truth, he was whatever you want to say, but that's at his time. Even Jesus said he was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. When he sent his disciples, he told them, don't go to any Samaritan city, all of that stuff, okay? So, again, you're... Did you forget Matthew 28, 18? Okay, that's the thing. I'm quoting Jesus, he's quoting Matthew. That is Jesus. Oh, that's not Jesus true. said, go into that's all Jesus the world and make disciples of all nations. So, I mean, you can pick one verse. Like I said, man, you, you the problem... Pick, you pick a verse from the Quran. Why, why yeah, but, I, but, I, but I'm, I'm humble enough and, yeah, and willing to be well. verified. Yeah, sure. If we verify it, uh, hey man, I'll step back. But you're you're I'm quoting a verse I just verify. read, and you keep harping on the same thing, and then you're saying Jesus was only sent to the Jews, and I just told you Matthew 28, and then you're like, who's Matthew? Then why why are you quoting anything in Matthew? Why are you quoting anything at all? 
You need the whole story if, if you're going to get the full story. If you want a part of the story, and that's what the Quran is. The Quran is a part of the story. But the Bible is the full story. And it leaves us with which the Bible, my friend, again. Any Bible. Every Bible, Bible says Jesus so is the Messiah. So who's the father of Joseph again? The, the, the who's the father of Joseph? If like, I, like I told you. Like I told you. You don't you. know I the stopped. answer? Look, we don't, we don't, don't sit around answer. worrying about genealogies. I, I don't even know so if why you know is, your 10th Why is it mentioned in the book? Why is it mentioned? It's mentioned there for a reason. Why is it mentioned? Why is it mentioned? I don't understand everything. Why is it mentioned? I don't understand Yeah, sure. You don't understand everything. You don't understand what's in your bloodline. Yeah, yeah, sure. But what I'm saying is... what? what I'm there. Yeah, it's there. That's the problem. It's there one thing in some verse and the other so like I said, I, like I said, don't cut me, man. No, I'm not. Like, 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 I, like I said, I already explained this. No, you so Many scholars look at it either through Mary's, uh, Mary's uh, lineage Which one and is Joseph's. Which one is Mary? Some people Yo, believe Luke is Mary's and Matthew is Joseph. So, so this is Mary's not even mentioned in the. No, it's not. But because yeah, exactly. Yes, so no, it's not. So I'm going to talk about your genealogy you, you know, not even yeah, yeah, telling yeah, you. Yeah, you know so why? Like because that. genealogy is through the men. Yo, yo, and so, yeah, exactly. Right. Through the men. That's yes, Joseph. but hers was recorded in that That's way because of that fact. That's why they're two different genealogies. No, no, no. no. Mary is not. Because everybody was asking questions about Mary, where Jesus Mary is not even mentioned in Luke. Up in okay, Luke, and Mary I told you not. why. I told you why. Yeah, because so a man that, was standing in her place in representative yeah, so, of her, and he, he's of her genealogy. If you don't want to accept it, that's fine. Can I say every Christian Can I scholar say accepts that. No, no. All Christian scholars say, look, has nothing to do with Mary because Mary is not mentioned. No, no. Which, which scholar says it? Yeah, you tell me which scholar says it's Malouf. Many, man. I mean, yeah, this like, is a... This, there, 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 many. So, God bless you. Okay, good to see you, brother. Many. So, this is what I'm saying, man. If you want to debate about the gene genealogies... I'm not debating. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I've already given you my answer. Yeah, what's... I've already given so, who's the father? Like I told you. Who is he? I told you. Luke is following the Mary's genealogy. No, no. Mary is not mentioned to Luke, my friend. And I told you why. Joseph is mentioned by name. He's begotten no, but Joseph. I, but I told you why. So he's, he's I told saying... You, I told you why. No, you're not I saying anything. Why, he's mentioning Joseph. He's, he's, he's acting as an David, advocate right? for you're Mary's David, right? genealogy. Okay, let's, That's let, why. Let's just make it simple. Your right. name is David, right? Right. Okay, my name is Muhammad, okay? Now, when I say Muhammad is the son of David, do I mean some, uh, some other guy who died I don't even know? No, He's you don't. mentioning Joseph is the son of Jacob. So it has to be Joseph, son of Jacob. And the other verse, it says Jacob or, or Heli is the son of Joseph. So it's not Mary, it's not anyone else. It's saying, it's mentioning, you can't be dumb to not get it. It's saying no, no, Joseph. No, it's, Joseph. You know, the, the, per, the person that's dumb, and I've already explained, so is that you just don't want to accept. Joseph, you just don't want to accept. It's Joseph. The answer. That's the reason. It's that's Joseph the problem. The thing. It's Joseph. Let, I, I already explained that. Yeah, And, you and no matter how many times I explain that, and, you and just don't want to believe that. And you're doing that. a bad job, honestly. No, no, no. It's just like Matthew chapter 10, verse 17. So here's it is a problem, Joseph. sir. He's Joseph. The, prob the problem, sir, is this: is that you just don't believe in the Bible. You don't believe in of the Word I of God. Of course, I don't. It's contradicting. One and, time is and, Joseph. And one time is Eli. Who no, should I believe? No. And that's a pro because you don't want the right interpretation. So what's the right thing? I just I'm told you. I'm asking you. I just what's told the right? you. Who's the Luke is following Mary's, and Matthew's Ma following Joseph. Luke is mentioning and Joseph. And Joseph, man is Joseph, representing Joseph, Mary's lineage Joseph. because of that so why, fact. Why didn't he and say it's not the only time in that in that in that era. It's not the only time. If you, if, if, you notice, no, no, no. if you notice, if if you notice, if you notice something when you follow genealogies in the Old Testament or in the Bible, you never hear about the woman. You always hear about the man. Exactly, exactly, right. and that's why and that's Luke the is reason not, why. Exactly, and that's why because, Luke is because not, Mary Jesus is was born Joseph of a virgin. Well. That's why. Exactly, and that's no, no, why. No, no, no. Oh, he Lord. just proved my point. No. He said if you follow the Old Testament, there is no lineage for women. And that's exactly what And the reason why the and two genealogies exactly. were mentioned is because Jesus it, had it no for, father. It's for Joseph, it, exactly. Right. So why Joseph. mention Jesus' genealogy for Joseph if he, if he was that's, born of a virgin? That's another contradiction. You have no, to answer no, no, me. No, no. The thing is, I'm telling you why. I'm telling you. you <laughs> no, listen, bro. Why would, why would Joseph's genealogy be mentioned anyway and I tie it to Jesus? That's a question for you, exactly. No, why? So, 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 if Jesus, no, I'm telling okay, okay, you. Pause for a second. Yeah. Pause for a second. I'm pausing. Let me. Why would Joseph's genealogy be mentioned in the Bible if Jesus was Joseph was not uh, Joseph's uh, bloodline? The reason why. Uh, excellent question. Good. So what that means is that there's another explanation which we know as Christians. We know that that Joseph wasn't his natural bloodline, but yet he's acting as a representative for that bloodline because that was his earthly father by surrogate, by by uh, I guess adoption in that sense. 
And the reason why Joseph's lineage is mentioned like that in Luke is because it's representing Mary's. And it was through the Father because the lineage goes through the men. This is the answer. Now, if it's you not, don't it's accept not, it's it... Not, it's not, it's not. Well, it's not I'm because trying, a Muslim says it's not? No, 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 let me answer. Because what, what's your answer? Since you don't even believe in the Bible, you don't even have the answer. Tell me the answer. Okay, so answer is in the Bible itself, people. Open the genealogy of Jesus in Luke. It will mention that. Let me just get it because ahead, you don't want to say get it. Get it, get it. No, no disrespect, Muslim people. Why are you asking? Trust me, no, no, no. Because your bodyguard here, they're not, they're not, they're not Jesus people. The Jesus, the, the one of Jesus people here, right? Why Jesus? You can't just say, you can't fucking smile, but you want to beat up everybody. Because I recorded this for morning on fucking social media. Why are you swearing, bro? Yo, Why are you swearing, man? I can swear. No, you can swear anything, but recite, you're foul. Recite, I'm leave him. He's doing a bad job wait, either way. Leave wait, him. wait. Recite, you don't need to swear, bro. Recite Psalm 23 in front of no. the people without your phone. No. Psalm 23, recite this without your phone. bro? The Lord is my no. shepherd, I shall not want. What's the Re point of that? Recite. He no, I, 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 got down the the I got so what? the verse. I got the verse. I got the verse. No, wait. No, okay, people. So okay, I'm going to talk to this guy now. Okay, so people, this is not me making it up. This is Luke chapter 3, 23 to 38. Starting at 23. This is genealogy of Jesus in Luke. I will tell you what's in Matthew after that, but let's start with Luke. So Jesus, when he began his ministry, was about 30 years of age, being the son, as was supposed, of Joseph. Does Joseph mean Mary, or does it mean Joseph? That's my question. So now, and my... my I already answered this, but go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so, the, and then he says, Joseph, the son of Heli. If he was speaking about Mary, he would say the daughter of Heli. But he's not, because he's not speaking about Mary. He's speaking about Joseph, and that's from Jesus. Now, I'm not making this up. This is Luke 20, Luke chapter 3, starting from 23. Luke 3, 23. Jesus, son of Joseph, son of Heli. It doesn't say Mary, and if it was Mary, it would say daughter of Heli. But it's not saying Joseph, and this Joseph is son of Heli in Luke. Now, if you go to Matthew... Okay, now the genealogy of Jesus in the Holy Bible that he claims is the Word of God in Matthew. Matthew chapter 1. Uh, okay, Matthew chapter 1, 16. Now, listen carefully. And Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, and Mary was the mother of Jesus. So now it's saying, Jacob is the father of Joseph in Matthew. If you go to Luke... His father is named Eli. Now, my question, I asked it many times, but he's not getting the question. I'm not saying who's, whose side. In the Bible, it's mentioning two names for the father of Joseph. I'm not saying anything about Jesus. I'm asking a simple question. Who is the father of Joseph? Is it Luke as, uh, sorry, is it Eli as in Luke, or is it Joseph as in Matthew? Now, this is supposed to be a holy Bible. Now, this is supposed to be a book of God. Why is it containing contradictions? Which one is it? Can I? And, and the thing is, it doesn't matter. Okay, it does matter. Actually, it does matter. Okay. Yeah, it so, so, so like I was saying in the beginning, I said there's two possibilities. One, I said there's a few things that scholars say, and it's there for the last 2,000 years. That Luke is representing Mary's lineage. I just read it for you. And I explained. I just read it for you. Look, listen. Does listen. it mention Mary? I listen to you, so instead of interrupting me, oh, sure. and Matthews is representing Joseph's. Now, this is one scholarly opinion. It's a popular opinion. But there's another popular opinion, uh, and that's interesting. Have you ever heard of Leverite marriage? Leverite marriage in the Bible is when uh, a father... I know what Leverite marriage is. What, what is... Okay, I'm going to explain it for everybody. Leverite marriage is when a father dies, or uh, somebody, uh, somebody's husband dies but has no children. And so what happens is the brother needs to marry the, the wife of the person that never had the children and raise up seed for the children. But the children wouldn't be his seed, it would be the, the brother that died. So the next possibility is that this lineage of Luke 
and, and Matthew is actually a Leverite marriage and it's tracing back through two fathers lineages and this is the reason why but at the end of the day it doesn't matter because you and I it no it doesn't you said because it does. I just gave you two logical biblical rational historical that explanations answer. that clear up the matter it that yes it does answer. if it was a Let Leverite okay hold on Let if answer. it was a Leverite marriage that would explain that one of them was actually Joseph's lineage and the other one was the brother that he took over in the marriage. That was a Leverite issue. So he was tracing it back through that way and he was tracing it back throughout that way. The other possibility is that Luke's uh, lineage was actually representing Mary and the man was, was representing her lineage. Now, listen, if you don't want to accept it, it's up to you. Can I answer Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so, so this is what I'm saying. At the end of the day, we have Joseph's lineage when we know Jesus was born of a virgin. So neither of those lineages really trace back Jesus anyway. Joseph is acting as a surrogate father in place of God the Father. So if it's a Leverite marriage, fine. If it's representing Mary, fine. But at the end of the day, we know that God, uh, Jesus' father was God himself. And that's what makes him unique. He was God with us and his mother was Mary. And the mother was through the Davidic line as well. And that's why Jesus Christ is from the line of the tribe of Judah. Through the flesh, but he's from heaven according to the spirit. He is the Lord of glory. And this is the answer. Can I answer this? You can answer it. Yeah, sure. Okay, so first of all, he's saying there are two possibilities and both of them are wrong. First of all, he's saying that the possibility of Luke is talking about Mary. This is in no way, shape or form correct because I just showed him. It's mentioning Joseph by the name and he's saying the son, not the daughter. If he's talking about Mary, he's going to say the daughter, not the son, and he's mentioning Joseph by name. That's the first possible. We, we just answered that. Yeah, sure. Let okay. me answer. Let me answer why you answered it. Okay, I'm not going to go back here because I've no answered worries. this like three no times. Worries. No worries. No Maybe worries. four. No one is as asking you anything. It's for the people to make their decision, okay? The other thing is saying, okay, now it's what other marriage and it's he's mentioning someone. Leverate. Yeah, you can call it whatever you want, okay? But what I'm saying is, the point is, if it's lover at marriage or whatever, the Bible is supposed to be revealed by the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit, if he's going to take the, the way of the lover at marriage, he's going to mention it in both ways. Now, Luke is supposed to be uh, like revealed to by the Holy Ghost, and Matthew is supposed to be revealed to by the Holy Ghost. So if the Holy Ghost is going to take the track of the lover at marriage, it's going to be in both. He's going to tell Luke, okay, you take this track, lever at marriage for this way. He's going to also tell Matthew the same thing. Oh, that, that, so, that, that's very interesting. So why do you have over 10 kirats of the Quran where Muhammad re reveals the, the well, Quran why, in like 10 different ways? Why, I'm going to tell why, you why. Why are you? Because why are you, God why don't you have a, the whole picture. You want God to say one side of the picture, but my God completes all the pictures. Can't you answer from that's the Bible? The can't you that answer is answering from, from the Bible. No, it's not from the Bible. Sir, you got your answers like four times. You didn't. You didn't answer. I've answered the, four times. So I mean, who, other okay, people so need to hear the name. gospel. Yeah, sure. So give me a name. Who's the real father of Jesus? Give me a name. It's right there. Yeah, what is? It's right there. Yeah, bro. tell me the name. Follow Matthew's lineage. Just one word. It. Just one word. Bro, bro, who's the look, name? You just read it. Who's the name? Just read it. Yeah, I, one time it said Eli, one time it said okay. Jacob. So I'm asking Pick you. Pick one. Pick one. Pick one. Yeah, so yeah, that's sure. it. Yeah, sure. So that's it. Okay, okay all right. These, all the best, these are, man. These are all the, the people you're putting your salvation yeah. upon. Yeah. They don't even know the religion. They no, don't they know do. anything. I explained they it don't a few times. Yeah. I explained it a few times that you don't accept it. Tell me any. Tell me any. I just said it a few times. I'm not going to keep going over and over. Bro, listen, listen. At the end of the day, yeah. Listen to me. We have no problem. You have a problem. No, I don't. In fact, I'm being just, a Muslim, you have a problem. I'm just proving you have that no your Bible is not for anything I'm just you proving. believe, bro. Where was Muhammad even prophesied? One Actually, thing. no, no, no. He was prophesied. I'm sorry, sir. Matthew 24. There shall that's arise many false prophets. That's actually on you. That's actually on you. Yeah, so that that's new. So 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 anyway, bro. Why are you running? Because you keep following me and you're not answering anything. Yeah, I've said things five times, bro. I need, I need to speak. You need to speak. You need, you, you, you need to That's get Jesus. That's what you need, bro. Yeah, sure. You Just need like Jesus, you bro. I got Jesus. Listen, man, I've answered you so many times. I took about an hour talking name? back and yeah, forth. And you couldn't answer anything. No, you I answered answer everything. Anything. I just read so to you. I explained father? it. Who is the father? I explained it. I told you, Matthew's lineage. Follow that. Read so, the book so of Matthew. Fun. So look, no, fun. I told you it's either so that's a fun. it's either that's a Leverite marriage or it's tracing back through Mary. So why is but the man is Joseph? representing why Mary's is lineage. Joseph? Why? Because I told you in the Bible everything's traced through the man, but this one exception is to trace back I'm Mary because Mary is a virgin Mary's and she gave birth to Jesus Christ. Mary's that's the reason why, bro. 
Yep, that's the reason why. Mentioned. So why are we it's repeating it? Why are you repeating yourself? Let's, let's if you don't like point. my answer, no that's worries, fine. No it's for the people to Okay, good. Let's, We've let's, already said it like five times, bro. So that's why I keep walking away. It's not because I, I'm afraid of you. I, I took are. about an hour. I, I've answered everything you said. You me, right? So now I'm going to ask you one thing right now, and then we're going to end it here, and I'm going to go on with Can what I'm doing. Can I ask a question? I've been asking you I've been asking you the whole hour. Bro, do you want to get saved, bro? Yeah, of course I want to get saved by okay, so you. Okay, so you need not to accept you, Jesus Christ. Okay, then, then you everything... You can't even save yourself, Okay, man. okay, so if you, you don't want to be saved yourself. through Jesus, then, then you're doomed, bro. You You've rejected the only yourself. mercy of, of God. You've yeah. rejected the blood. I can't help you, bro. There's, not, there's no point of talking you, to you. I'm going to pray for you. Can That's you all I can do. Can you be brave and Bro, listen, every knee is going to bow. You're going to bow before Jesus one day. You're going to bow, bro. You're gonna bow, bro. Uh, you, no, no Muslim could actually follow Muhammad today. No Muslim could. No, no, no. I, I do follow Jesus, and I believe in what He did on the cross for you. God loves you, bro. But you're arrogant. Like if you want to sit down and read the Bible with me, we can do that. That's how I came up. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Well, if you don't accept it, you don't accept it. Okay. So, so Allah, Allah, move on, bro. You deny, you deny Jesus. You deny the salvation. When you stand before God, the only thing that's going to be on your shoulder is your sin, the weight of sin. And when God looks at you, He's going to judge you according to your sins deserved. And if your name is not written in the Lamb's book of life, you're going to be cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, which is the second death, and there is no hope. So you can accept Jesus today and be I saved. Am. I am. I am accepting. He died for you. No, he never said. Okay, that. then you're gonna die for your own sins in hell, bro. If you don't want Jesus to take your place, you're gonna stand in hell. It's up to you, bro. Can I say something? So, no, you, you can't, bro. It's better not. No, I'm not afraid. Your, your taunts don't don't don't, don't scare me, devil. It, Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. You're going to bow. Every knee is going to bow. There's people that need to get saved, bro. It's because you don't want people to get saved. You're just walking with the devil, bro. I've answered your questions like a broken record like five times, bro. How many times do you want me to tell you about the lineage of Matthew and Luke? You want me to tell you five times right now? Luke may represent Mary's lineage. Luke might represent Mary's lineage. Luke might represent Mary's lineage. It might even be a Leverite marriage. It might even be a Leverite marriage. Does it ring yet? That's the point. Bro, I'm not going to keep saying the same thing to you. Because you keep coming to me, bro. I'm, I'm standing here. Come here. Look, God loves you. You don't want yes, Jesus. Sir. I got nothing to say to you, bro. I'm not going to kill you. Don't you have nothing to say. I have nothing to say to you. Do you want Jesus? Do you want to be saved by the blood of the Lamb? Why are you scared? Do you want salvation? Why are you scared? I'm not scared. Okay, come here, man. I'm not scared. I think you're scared of salvation. You're scared of humbling yourself. You're scared of acknowledging that you need a Savior, bro. You need a savior, you know that. You're a sinner in need of salvation. And the only savior is Jesus. That's what his name means. Come here, let's talk. Bro, so God loves you. What can, what can I do for you, sir? I have a question for you. Sure. How do you explain childhood cancer? How do I explain it? People sinned against God and brought curses on this world. Yes, from the beginning. They disobeyed God. Every sickness is a is a result of people's sin from a long time ago. Our genetics change, our DNA change by, uh, by the denial of God's glory. And so things started to come along genetically and decay. And that's why God sent Jesus Christ to die for your sins. And he's going to restore all things sooner or later. And that's why he came to heal the sick and to raise the dead. So do you believe a God that loves everybody? I believe God loves everybody according to what his definition of love is, not yours. So why would God kill a tiny baby? God doesn't kill. God gives life and God takes it away. The purpose of that child was over. Your purpose will be over. Why, do, why does anybody die? I'm going to tell you why people die from the beginning. We sinned. That's why we died. And you're going to die. Is it because God so, killed you? No. Uh, it's at your time. Yes, a baby can have sin? a purpose. Sin? Everybody sin? has sin and has the nature of sin the inside. baby does not have sin. Okay. Well, everybody has sin. No, he didn't sin. He didn't make a an baby, intentional a, sin. A no, no are you listening to sin. me? Okay. Everybody has broken genetics on the inside, a propensity to sin. That's why everybody has sin. Is am I am I lying? A baby? Do you not have a broken? Is your per, is your baby have perfect genetics? I'm not a baby. I'm not. Do a you baby. have perfect genetics? No. Does anybody have perfect genetics? A baby. A baby. a baby has perfect genetics. Yeah. Come on, nobody in this world has perfect yeah, genetics. We have all fallen short of the glory of God. Our genetics are broken because we have sinned. Our ancestors have sinned, and this is in our bloodline. Our bloodline is messed up, and that's why Jesus Christ came to die for sinners. You answered your question. You know, it's interesting when people look at God and say, is God righteous and so forth? Why do they care about righteousness and evil unless they believe in a standard of righteousness and evil? No, I don't want to listen to you anymore. We're done. We're done. You don't want Jesus. You don't want Jesus, bro.
You don't want Jesus. You're doomed right now. You're on your way to hell right now. Yes, you don't want to talk to him because he. I no, I don't want to. He's talking about. No, actually, he doesn't. I'm a Muslim. Okay. I'm just an everyday Muslim. I'm not as educated. He's good. I'm He's not that good to so me, bro. I, right I, I, I can't even answer Muslim. any question. What you're doing right now is you're taking an everyday Muslim just like me who doesn't know football. No, 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 he, no I'm not even taking him. I'm not taking him. I'm actually trying to remove myself from him. He's not a scholar, bro. He's not qualified. He's a broken record. Ask me a question. I want to ask a question. You want, you want me to ask, ask you another question? No, you want me to ask you a question? ask a question. Okay, what do you want me to ask? Okay. So you're telling me that Jesus is going to take his, our sins up in himself, right? Yes. Okay, so if you go again to the Bible, sure. and again, I'm going to quote the verse, unlike him, I'll just make something up and tell you it's in the Quran. Now, this is in the Bible. It's Ezekiel 18, 20. Can somebody pass me a Bible over in the Gospel book? It's Ezekiel 18, 20. Yeah, sure. Yeah, someone give him the Bible, please. Uh, so, so... Thank you, thank you, sir. This this one's this one's a funny one, so please listen to his quote. Everybody listen to him. I'm not saying anything, you explain it. No, 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 no. I want you to read it, bro. Okay, I'll read it. So basically what it says, this guy's saying Jesus died for your sins, okay? Yeah. Now in the Bible, that's supposed to be holy and supposed to be the word of God, and you have to believe it in Ezekiel 18:20. It says Let me just tell you what exactly it says. Just, just read it, bro. Yeah. The one who sins is the one who will die. The child will not share the guilt of the father, and the father will not share the guilt of the son. So, here in the Bible is saying that no one will die for your sins other than yourself. Or the Bible is incorrect. Which one is it? Because you're telling me Jesus yeah, yeah, yeah. will die for my sins. And the other part of the Bible says the one who dies is the one who sins. The father will not share the guilt of the son, and the son will not share the guilt of the father. So which one is it? Yeah. Everybody else, not Jesus. Jesus is the Savior. He's the only one worthy. Everybody else nobody can't sin. die for nobody's sins. Nobody can take the blame. Number one, everyone will own their own sins. But when it comes to the atonement, only one can do it, and that's Jesus. The Father can't pay for the Son's sins. You can't pay for your Father's sins because you're a sinner. But there's one person that wasn't a sinner, and his name is Jesus. And if you want to go to this verse and ask yourself, did Jesus die for sin? Just go to the, another prophet, Isaiah 53. He says that he will make his soul an offering for sin. Can answer. So this is what the Bible says. So again, you're picking and choosing. And I love when you questions. do it. I'm asking and I've questions. answered you. Okay, so every so time I answer you, are, are you satisfied now? No. I have a follow-up. So the thing What's is... What's your follow-up? It, say, it says in the verse that the one who sins is the one who dies. So if you're saying Jesus died, then he sinned. So did Jesus sin? That's in the verse. That's in the Bible. You can't like ignore it. Are you, are you serious right now, bro? <laughs> did, you, did you just tell me that this guy's an educated Muslim? Ah, so answer on, it. Man. It should be a piece of cake for you to so answer it. No, are you serious right now? No, I'm serious. Huh? No, it, it's just so simple. Yeah. I just, why are we even at the... Yeah, so if it's okay. simple, answer it. So, so bro, answer. Jesus voluntarily died for you. He didn't die because of so his Ezekiel sins, So Ezekiel is wrong. Ezekiel is wrong. No. Ezekiel's in the context of God's fuller picture that there will be a savior who would die for sins. This is what you don't understand. And when I'm not going to do this broken record thing with you again. I'm telling you the answer. That is the answer. If you don't accept it, then you reject it. You've already rejected the salvation. What do you want me to do? Repeat it? Your Isaiah 53 yeah, is your answer. Isaiah 53 your is your answer. Yeah, Isaiah 53 is your answer. That is the context. No, it's because you keep repeating and it gets annoying, bro. Yeah, sure, no worries. I'm it's not, annoying, bro. I'll ask a new question. No, no. no I, you know what? I'm going to start preaching to other people and take other questions because you're just wasting my time, bro. No, I, I don't want to answer your questions. And if you can, you can call me a coward. Yeah, you are. If you, uh, I'm a coward. Then. Thank you. According to you, but not according to God. All right. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Listen, man, I'm not going to waste my time with a broken record and a broken record and a broken record. Was I clear? Put up your hand if I was clear. Okay. Put up your hand if I wasn't clear. One person. Oh, you're with me. So like I said, I mean, I was clear enough that everybody, most people in this circle understood me except the one guy. And he's an educated Muslim. I fear for the uneducated Muslims. If that's a scholarly Muslim, oh, Lord God, Jesus help the Muslims. I love the Muslims, by the way. Listen, it's funny when we talk like this, it kind of sounds arrogant. But you know what's really arrogant? When somebody comes 600 years ago, rewrites the entire narrative, says that we have the truth. We're not going to put the revelations that came before. We think all the Jews and the, and the Christians are all corrupted, but we're not. Nobody witnessed my, my revelation except 
uh, except uh, uh, apparent angel in a cave, and then this Christian comes along and it supposedly verifies it. But there's no Bible that verifies the Quranic message. None. Hey. 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 Hey.